Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive, I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a super duper couple in love that loves reacting to some Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, we do. So this is Dragon Ball Super episode number 55. If you want all of our reactions to this series, we got a playlist for you. Yeah. If you want early ad free access, get a month ahead or more, depending on which tier you sign up for. We got a link to Patreon down below in the description of this video. We got you covered. Yes, we do. And if you want to watch this episode, then here we go. We're gonna go right into it now. All right? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. <sighs> Yo, Lord Beerus! Yo! Yo, that's my face! The Omni King has informed us he wants to see you! Ow! Is this about his tournament? I would not deign to guess. Sounds fun, but can I take a rain check? Oh. How long does the trip take? Even for me, it takes two days each way. I can't be gone that long in the middle of this thing with Black. Are you honestly that dense? Hmm. <laughs> friends with the supreme kai of this universe aren't you goku yeah why this is the power to leap to grand zeno's palace instantaneously that's convenient if you do anything that grand zeno finds insulting he could easily erase you me don't you forget that <laughs> chubby cheeks funny when you're mad <laughs> <sighs> i give up we're all doomed <laughs> You should wear something formal, you dolt. What, like a suit or something? If I have to do that, I ain't going. <laughs> Such a kid. But make sure you don't even hint about Goku Black or the time machine, is that clear? What? You don't think he freaking knows? If Grand Seno does lash out, make sure it's not at Supreme Kai. I need him protected at all costs. I'm quite aware, my lord. Never heard you worry about someone besides yourself before. Ooh. When a Supreme Kai dies, the destroyer of that universe dies with him. No way. Oh. So if I wanted to defeat you, Lord Beerus, I just have to get rid of Supreme Kai and that's it? He's like, I can't believe you told him that. Wait, how could you blurt out my greatest vulnerability like some casual <laughs> piece of gossip? <laughs> Shall we get moving, Goku? Yep. I'll see you next time, Lord B. <laughs> Yo, Lord B, what's up? How far in the future have they gone now? They're waging war. Their so-called society is based on nothing else. They possess neither justice nor order. They were gifted with life, brains capable of wisdom. Should these gifts not be taken back? He looks a little bloodthirsty. Yeah. I think Zamasu's gonna mess him up. Point on return for him. And he crosses the line. How could you? Zamasu! Answer me! You're next! <sighs> what? Atara, now. It's like he had turned into somebody else. Wait! The palace of Grand Zeno? Yep, that's what I said. Can you take me, pretty please? Goku laying eyes on the palace, but I haven't even been there. Yep. Sucks for you. I've only been three times myself. Right, sir. I'm begging you, please don't make a fool of yourself while you're there. Why does everyone keep saying that? Do I really seem like the rude type of guy who can't behave himself? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Not intentionally. Exactly. I suppose we shouldn't keep him waiting. Great. We do appreciate the ride, sir. Make a fool of himself because Goku like doesn't get embarrassed. True. Welcome, my friends, and thank you for coming. You must be the Saiyan Goku. How nice to meet you. Yo! Uh, uh, yes, sir. Hi, sir. Please forgive this mortal's informal attire. After all, for you, that is the most important and meaningful outfit you have, is it not? It's true. Sounds like you're a pretty smart dude. Uh, uh. Don't call him a dude. Way, gentlemen. Goku's just being himself. He's not Which is so being refreshing. Rude. Yeah. As opposed to like the fake politeness, yeah. And like, dare I say, butt kisser esque. Many would be deceived by his appearance, but when it comes to fighting prowess, the Grand Minister is considered to be in the top five. You must not under any circumstances ask him to fight. Do you understand? Oh man, but now I'm all curious. <laughs> Suffice it to say, not even I can hold a candle to him. Whoa! So he's that good! <laughs> the 
the Saiyan Goku of Universe 7. Oh, you be, you be! I'm very happy now! <laughs> Welcome, funny Goku! Funny Goku. <laughs> uh, I mean, good day and greeting! No, be yourself, that's why he invited you. You know, you just gotta be yourself, and that's why he likes you. Because you don't, you treat him the same as everybody else. Where everyone else treats him differently. Uh, I'm not asking much. I just want a friend, you see? <laughs> I want you to be my friend, Okie Dokie. <laughs> <laughs> and now that we're friends, just what are we gonna do? We can play. Goku would feel privileged to play with you as many hours, days, or years as you wish. <laughs> years. Be quiet. <laughs> You know, you can just call me Goku. Just Goku? Then what should you just call me? How about Zenny? <laughs> oh, oh. oh, yeah, Zenny is a very fun name. <laughs> I'd love to play, but now's a bad time. You dare defy the Omni King? You will go back, or bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sire. And if you want, I can bring somebody else who'd be even more fun to play with, too. So the next time, you won't have to wait on me. Vegeta. Okay, it's a date. Oh, hey, we can do that silly thing we did last time, Goku, to show we agreed on something. <laughs> no one else will try. Exactly. You should come to Earth sometime. There's lots of cool stuff. Hooray, let's do it. This is a button. If you push it, then I will appear. Uh, oh, my God. He's already here. It doesn't make sense to push now because I'm already here. Ex <laughs> Remember the friend you promised me, okay? Yeah. Aww. Bye bye, just Goku. Bye. Come on, Supreme Kai. Let's go. Please tell me it's over. <laughs> I told you not to worry. All right, Zenny. I'll see ya. Okay. <laughs> so you said Vegeta. I think he's gonna bring Boo. Oh yeah. You have quite an interesting friend there. Indubitably. I would enjoy seeing him. Boo and him would totally get along. Boo him and a puppy. Can you imagine? That's done. Thank goodness you're all right. What was that business about you promising to bring Grand Zeno an even better companion next time? Right, the whole friend thing. I just said that on the fly. Do you guys know anyone he'd like? Oh <laughs> you made that promise with no idea how to fulfill it. <laughs> You've raised the hopes of the Omni King, and now if you can't deliver, he'll retaliate by destroying us all. <laughs> You're okay. back already? You didn't have to worry. Zenny's a totally awesome dude. Ah, did you just say Zenny? <laughs> <laughs> You'd better let me handle this from here. Hmm. He said Zenny. He said Zenny. You lack faith in mortals. Tell me why. He doesn't just lack faith. He hates them. This tea is a mirror. If the soul of its maker is clouded, the tea will be as well. To make mistakes but learn from them, thus forging a better world. That is the essence of a mortal spirit. But as far as I can see, mortals do not learn this way at all. Patient Zamasu. Every seed needs time to grow. Should a gardener not pluck the weeds? I thought you would teach me divine justice. But all you seem to do is watch while these monsters stay in existence with each other's blood. Ooh. Zamasu, do you ever ponder the relationship between good, evil, and justice? Evil is the great obstacle to good, and justice, the sword by which good can overcome this obstacle and flourish. Justice is not a sword eradicating evil, but a scale keeping good and evil in balance. Evil informs good, and that is why we give the mortals their minds. Dude, what is going on with your eyes? Twitching out again. You give corruption far too much credit. Evil does not inform good, it sullies it. Like the Barbary sullied their world with violence. Mortals do not succumb to evil, they are the evil. How can we call ourselves gods if we watch this plight and do nothing to stop it? You have a strong hunger for justice and that can be a great thing. But we must put temperance over righteousness. Being gods does not make us perfect. We too must learn and mature over time. Don't drink the tea. Get ready to be impressed! <laughs> wow, it looks brand new! Of course, we're the ones who polished it. I, I can't, can't feel, feel my hands! <laughs> I can't thank you enough. Come on, Trunks. Uh, let's go.
Vegeta, Goku, look after my boy, okay? staring out the window and it made me dizzy moron <coughs> so this is your future huh wow looks way worse than i thought this is his present <coughs> yeah i'll move the body she was lying right here when i left hmm? yeah, maybe don't do that I mean, maybe if Goku wasn't Goku, I would be worried about like that, like, oh, the suspense, bullets are coming right at Goku. Like, even if they hit him, would it, would it, would it matter? I mean, I, I, I don't know, because I don't understand him, because he could just like, you know, I don't know, take him out of the air and, and crush him. Um, but yeah, I loved the whole thing with Zeno because we were just talking, you were just talking about the last episode, um, trunks and how people, when you've gone through something, uh, tragic and something uh some sort of trauma people sort of like handle you with like kids gloves and um like you're like so fragile and it's gotta be the same thing with zeno like he's so powerful that like if you are in that same sense you know people that have i don't say like a, a, a lot of power like a lot of like money like a lot of influence like they they don't know who to trust and like like who's being genuine with them and so that's why a lot of times like they uh latch on to or like you know they really appreciate the friends that the people that knew them before they got like really rich or really powerful like or, or, or and um because they know that like oh these people like me for like who i actually am instead of like all things that i could do for them yeah. and that's the same thing like with zeno it's just like okay everyone just treats him with such reverence you know because one because they're scared of him because he does destroy universes um but also like yeah they, so they don't treat him like normal like 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 a part like a person like uh just i don't know and so Goku was just so refreshing because he treats everyone the same. And uh, I think you made a great suggestion for Boo. Although, I don't know, Boo has a temper. So who knows if they can get along, but they do need a puppy that would help. Yeah, I was thinking just how much Zena reminds me of like a child king. Like when you read history mm. and, and often when very young adults or adolescents or even dare I say children are uh, coming into power in the throne. Like the way we often see that depicted is as the spoiled brat mm -hmm. who gets kind of drunk on their own power and authority. Joffrey. And <laughs> Joffrey. Um, exactly. We rarely see the depiction that is Zeno, which is somebody that, appears to have an understanding of of their power and mm. authority and doesn't wield it maliciously but is just so incredibly lonely mm -hmm. um you know and and it is people say like it's lonely at the top well that's sort of like of the power structure yeah it's lonely at the top that that's if you're going to be a a ruler or a powerful entity of some kind people are going to be afraid of pissing you off um and that's that's poor zeno like everybody's so afraid of upsetting him and him destroying the universe that nobody can actually converse with him or or be kind to him but that's what i loved about it too is because the people that were afraid of him like he leaned into that it's like However you treat him, he's gonna lean into that. Goku treated him friendly and like a friend, so he leaned into that and was just like, I'm gonna treat you like a friend too, because this is how you're treating me. Other people are treating him like they're scared of him, so he's like, when those people came up, he's like, you're gonna back up now or I will make you go away. Go for bye bye. Yeah, go bye bye. Yeah. And the same thing with the Supreme Kai, he's just like, it's like, you shut up now, all right? And uh, so if you're gonna treat me like I'm this terrifying being and like, you know, you're gonna like, and you're so scared of me, then okay, like I'm gonna lean into that and then I'm gonna, that's exactly who I'm gonna be to you. But with Goku, just treats him like a friend, treats him like a buddy, like Zenny. And uh, he he lashed onto that. So that's what I, that's why I loved that whole scene so much. Zeno's basically a mirror. Yeah. You know, he reflects back what you show to him. And uh, I absolutely love how 
when Goku returns to Barris and he goes, yeah, don't worry, Zenny and I are fine. <laughs> he actually, I think, kills yeah. a little bit of Barris's soul by saying that. And yeah. I loved it. That was good. Although, I mean, I wonder now, Zeno and, uh, <laughs> and we seem to have like a mutual, I don't know, like, they're, they're, like I guess we always show us like respect, not in necessarily such a uh, mm, groveling way. Uh, cause that's Weiss's style, but like, I don't know. I wish, I wish Weiss would, uh, show him some of that sassy side. I love to see like sassy Weiss and Zeno just like, I don't know, go to brunch together. Oh, <laughs> that would be fun. Weiss does this. Yes. Yes. No, I think, I mean, with Weiss, it genuinely is that he is just courteous and respectful to all. That's mm-hmm. kind of his default setting. Um, I think a privileged few get to see his sassy side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's so much fun. Oh yeah, it is. So, what is going on with Zamasu's eyes? What 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 what's happening there? Yeah, it's it's like <sighs> does he have split personality disorder? Like, like something happens. His eye twitches. He seems to don this different, more fanatical personality, mm-hmm. and he even like his way of speech suddenly shifts, mm-hmm. and that also coincided with shifts in the teeth. So, so my work in theory is split personality. That's kind of wild. Like, that would be pretty cool if it was a split personality. And like, I mean, that's something I would not see coming. Like, somehow I feel like it'd be a split personality, and like they would split into two beings or something like that. I mean, like use the Patara earrings, like come together and be as one at the same time, but like as like a different being. I don't know. I mean, that's crazy. Like, why would they split and then come back together? Maybe they would split, and the split version of this supreme kai is goku black like when it splits off from him from, from himself like the only thing i i can uh relate it to is um if you're familiar with the uh, marvel universe and uh adam warlock and uh magus and the uh, um like basically adam warlock uh when he gets the infinity gauntlet and you know he's got he's, he's omnipotent um he splits himself off he splits off all the evil and all the good into two different people. Um, and so that he could have com- like just be completely logical when he is a uh, omnipotent God or whatever. Um, that was his, his, his goal. So is that what happens? Like he is so conflicted, this uh, Supreme Kai that the evil part of himself is able to like, just like separate it or maybe it, it's not something that he does, but somebody else does to him, like in trying to purge him of all this evil thoughts that he has, they split him off and, and then he becomes a separate separate person. That's a new crazy theory. And that separate person is Al Pacino. <laughs> Bringing it back to Al Pacino. Exactly. Um, it still doesn't, in either of our theories, I mean, because where my brain was going was, and Spoiler alert if you haven't seen this film from like, I don't know, 20 years ago now. But my brain went to Primal Fear as like the reference point. Yeah. Um, But like neither of these illustrate how we get Goku's look. Why is he Goku black? Like where where does Goku factor into all of this? (sighs) I don't know yet. And then also with that, what I found particularly interesting was the way the T changed. So it went mm-hmm. from cloudy mm-hmm. to like black. pitch black. Yeah. But then to clear. And it seemed like when it had gone clear that we were we were in the fanatical personality more so than we were in the original personality. Mm-hmm. And the fanatical one was just really describing their point of view, which seemed very pure for them. Mm-hmm. There was no ambition ambiguity about what their perspective was but it was just interesting to me that like that potentially led to clear t which as as the actual supreme kai is looking at this and and sort of reading the tea leaves so to speak um trying to figure out what the different t's mean for their disciple and and how to best guide them based on what they're seeing. Well, one comes from hate and and uh, and fear and anger and, and whatnot, you know, and the dark side uh, of the tea. And 
that's where like the, the it's like all emotion it's like emotion and emotion is driving those thoughts and uh whereas before when you said it was clear he's like okay this he's he's saying this not because he this isn't the part of him that hates mortals this is his own logic twist it logic as it may be this is something that is non-emotional how he really is perceiving things um and how he thinks that the world could be or the universe could be a better place um whereas before it, it, like yeah so that's that's my interpretation of of, of the different t's so okay. um let us know your different interpretations of the t's how do you read the tea leaves <laughs> yes down below in the comments and uh if you want early ad free access get a month ahead on our reactions or more see our full watch along reactions check out patreon link is down below in the description of this video Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Super episode number 55, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.